You are now listening to Scheduling Fate, hosted by author and counseling astrologer, Jamie McGee. For more information, please go to schedulingfate.com. Hi there, and welcome to Scheduling Fate. All right, so the week ahead is packed with so much energy. There's gonna be a lot of changes, a lot of ways to pivot when we work with this. So let's go ahead and talk about the transits really quick before we dive into your individual horoscope. So as we kick off this week, we do have Venus trining the North Node and in sextile with Jupiter. So that initial, okay, here we are, it's gonna get us really excited about a new direction, this karmic flow that we feel that's heart-centered. We also have a full moon this week, and that full moon is in Capricorn, and we'll be opposing Pluto. Now, a full moon in Capricorn represents a powerful time to focus on your ambition, your responsibility, and your achievement. Full moons are going to help you see how your past efforts led you to where you are and reassess the goals that you have. It's a great time to reflect on long-term objectives and examine the structures that support the ambitions that you have now and recognize the obstacles for what they are. And it could feel like a little bit of a power struggle, but there's going to be a lot of opportunities to work around this or to work through it this week. Now, we have a lot of planets moving signs this week as well. Mars is going to move into Gemini. Now, when Mars moves into Gemini, this is going to bring a dynamic and adaptable energy that's going to emphasize communication, versatility, and intellectual pursuit. It really enhances your curiosity, quick thinking, and allowing you to multitask efficiently and engage in diverse interests and topics to see both sides to everything. Mars moving into this air sign could invite a lot of debate, a lot of invigorating discussions where you see multiple points of views. But at the same time, even though this energy supports learning, networking, and exploring all kinds of ideas, making a choice sometimes could be a little bit hard because you're going to be so overstimulated with different points of view. So kind of keep that in mind as you work with this powerful energy. Now, the sun will also move into Leo this week. So happy birthday to all of you Leos out there. Now, with the sun in Leo, all of us get to experience this in a certain part of our life. We're going to find a lot of radiant, charismatic energy that's going to emphasize self-expression, confidence, and leadership. It's going to foster boldness and encourage personal achievement and that desire to inspire others by simply being ourselves. And we have Mercury moving into Virgo this week. Mercury in Virgo emphasizes a lot of precision and practicality analytical skills, and in communication. This placement enhances our attention to detail, and it encourages clear, concise expression, which you can see could be a little bit challenging if we're trying to be really creative with that Leo's sun. But I do think that we have a lot of opportunities to work with that big, bold energy. We'll also have Mercury square Uranus in the middle of all this. So it's almost like the full moon, Mercury squaring Uranus. We're going to have some breakthroughs, some kind of inspiration that floods through us, And then we're going to be able to work through it with a lot of new energy that these planets that are shifting signs are going to inspire. All right, with that being said, let's get ready to dive into the horoscopes. Please be sure to listen to both your sun sign and your rising sign. Hi, Leo. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Leo, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, allies, two, self-expression, individuality, and three, mind and body balance. Now, let's talk about why. Now, as we kick off this week, you could feel really excited about new horizons, connections, passions, and your individuality. This is thanks to Venus having a lot of great conversations out there. It could feel very karmic, like I am intended to go here. I don't know what's going to happen when I get there, but I feel like I am called to go in this direction. Now, some of this could be overshadowed by the building full moon that we have in Capricorn. Capricorn's full moon is going to highlight for you your mind and body balance, the work that you have to do, the rituals that you have to do, and how you feel about those on a subconscious level. Though this full moon can feel very intense, especially when it comes to that mind and body balance, interestingly enough, I do think you're going to find a lot of help when it comes to your allies, allies that you have begun to build in recent weeks and allies that you're going to start to build this week. They're going to give you some suggestions and some ideas about how you can reorganize the work that you do, the habits that you do, or reapproach that whole mind and body balance that you have. So sort of look for that. Now, adding to this flow this week, we do have a lot of moving energy. Mars is moving into Gemini. This is going to highlight your allies, your friendships, and network. Again, this is going to help inspire you to work through that tug of war sensation that the full moon could amplify this week. And we have the sun moving into your sign. The happy, happy solar return to all of you Leos out there. This energy is going to help you tap into your self-expression, your individuality, what you're passionate about, what you love without condition, and where this can take you, that new karmic direction that you have your eye on. And then we have Mercury moving into Virgo. So when it comes to your resources, your skill sets, and your self-esteem about those resources and skill sets, Mercury is going to really help you get nice and detailed and organized when it comes to this approach. 
It's also going to help you dial into the, you know what, this is my worth. This is what I deserve. And this is what I'm going to go for as you work with all the moving energy this week. All right, with that being said, I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Virgo. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Virgo, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your reputation, two, ending to begin, and three, creative expression, our creative passions. Now, let's talk about why. Now, as you step into this week, you could feel really excited about both private and public matters, especially when it comes to your investments, your shared wealth, a transformation that you've gone through, and how this is flowing into your overall reputation, how you're known out there in the world. Now, this is thanks to Venus having some great conversations in the sky. But with that being said, there's a full moon energy this week that could overshadow some of those winds there. But I do want you to notice those winds. Focus on things that are working. Now, this full moon is going to be highlighting things that you love without condition. People, places, things, entrepreneurships, your passions that you have. And with this energy, you're going to be able to take a practical look at how far you've come and where you want to go. It could feel like you're in a bit of a tug of war, a pa- bit of a power struggle between this is what I adore and this is what my community may want or this is what I feel like I should do because others want me to do. That's a power struggle that you may encounter. There could be some breakthrough news, seeing things from different perspectives. But interestingly enough, all of that work that you've been doing on expanding your reputation, your authority, that homework life balance, and this new energy that's coming in as Mars steps into Gemini is going to really be your way out. It's going to help you understand how to balance those passions in that network. You're going to say, you know what, this is my reputation. This is how I want to be known in the world. I'm putting my name on it. And by by understanding what that is, you'll be able to make those decisions about what your heart is truly connected to. Now, adding to all this energy, we do have some moving planets that we're working with this week. Mars is moving into Gemini. This is going to highlight your career, your reputation. It's going to flow into your homework, life balance, your partnerships, and your individuality. Now, this is going to give you a lot of different viewpoints, a lot of energy to move things forward. But you also want to make sure you don't get overwhelmed with the details here. There's going to be a lot of extra data to work with. We only want to focus on the data that's going to help us move something forward. We have the sun moving into Leo. Now, as the sun moves into Leo, we're getting closer to your birthday season. So you're going to start to notice things that are ready to end so you can begin new things as you step into your solar year. So really approaching those endings and beginnings with a lot of heart-based compassion and creativity and originality is going to be a theme that you're going to work with over the next few weeks. And then we have Mercury moving into your sign, your kingdom, getting very detailed, clear, and precise, getting those to-do lists about what you want to move forward. It's going to be natural to you. But again, you want to avoid overwhelm. Don't try to do yours and others. Do your path and you will find a lot of success. All right. With that being said, I hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Libra. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Libra, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, new horizons, two, foundations, and three, your alliances. Now, let's talk about why. Now, as we kick off this week, you could be really excited about new partnerships and social circles and the karmic connections that they are bringing into your life. I really want you to focus on those because that's going to help you kind of weave through some of the more intense energies that we're working with this week because we have a full moon that we are building towards. And this full moon for you is happening at a foundational level, really close to your home, but it branches up into every corner of your life, your homework, life balance, your partnerships, your individuality, and every place in between. And as this full moon transpires, it could feel a little bit like a tug of war between where you are and where you want to be. But appreciating what is working is going to help you find that inner core balance that you're looking for. It's also a good idea to think about where I'm going to go from here. You've worked on a lot of things on when it comes to new horizons, learning, teaching, exploring your personal convictions in recent months. And you're going to have a lot of added motivation coming in this week to that area. If you focus on where you're going, That's going to help you synthesize what this full moon is trying to show to you. Now, adding to this week, we have a lot of moving planets. We have Mars moving into Gemini. That's going to give you a lot of inspiration about those new directions, convictions, learning, and teaching. We have the sun moving into Leo. It's going to inspire you to make new connections, creative adventures when it comes to your dreams. This could be connections that are a whole network of people, but also partnerships in your local environment. And we have Mercury moving into Virgo. So this is going to give you some inspiration, a lot of details about, you know, how can I end something and begin something? How can I work on this project behind the scenes in a very clear, precise way so I feel like I'm in more harmony and balance with what needs to happen next? All right, with that being said, I do hope you have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Scorpio. Let's take a look at your week. 
Now, Scorpio, your top three focuses are going to be one, finding your voice, two, your legacy or something around transformation and shared wealth, and three, new rituals and habits. Now, let's talk about why. Now, as we kick off this week, you may be really focused on what your habits and your ritual and your daily workflow is. You could feel like you have a heart-centered karmic flow that you are ready to step into. I encourage you to focus on that energy because that's going to be something that will help guide you through some of the decisions that you have to make this week with a lot of the shifting energy that we have and that full moon that we are building toward. Now, the full moon is in Capricorn. It's focused on your local environment, how you communicate, what your voice is, who you speak to one-to-one, that network that you have in all spaces in between, anything that has to do with communication and people that stand shoulder to shoulder with you. And because it's in Capricorn, you're really going to notice some practical grounded things that are working to support your goals and maybe some things that are not working. It could feel really intense in times, like a report card that came in and you're not really sure how you feel about all of the grades. But interestingly enough, if you focus on a lot of the recent transformations that you've gone through, intimate, long-term connections that you have made, anything that supports your legacy or shared wealth, I think you're going to find a way to harmonize and balance out what this full moon energy is trying to tell you. Kind of focus on, this is my legacy. This is the transformation I'm going through. This is what I need to pull from this information. Now, adding to all of this energy this week, We do have a lot of moving planets. Mars is going to move into Gemini. That's going to give you a lot of insight about your legacy, transformation, and shared wealth. We also have the sun moving into Leo. This is going to highlight your career, your reputation, how you're known in the world. And because it's there, it's going to flow into every corner, partnerships, individuality, your home work-life balance. This is a great time to get very creative, heart-based, and passionate, and original when it comes to how you are known in the world. And then we have Mercury moving into Virgo. So this is going to give you a lot of detail, a lot of precision. A lot of ability to network and see different points of view when it comes to your social networks, your one-to-one connection, and how you communicate day in and day out. Really look at your dream and give yourself an organization list. This is what I need to do to feel successful and organized and in flow with what my dream is, what my connections are. All right, with that being said, I do hope you have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Sagittarius. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Sagittarius, your top three focuses are going to be one, your reputation, two, your partnerships, and three, your legacy. Now, let's talk about why. Now, as we kick off this week, you could feel really excited about what you love without condition, people, places, and things, that heart-based energy that says, you know what, this is my karmic path. This is the direction I want to go into. I encourage you to kind of hold that flame as we work through some of the more moving energy this week or the challenging energy, because it's going to help you make some pivotal decisions in the moment. Now, the building energy that we're working toward is a full moon in Capricorn, and this full moon in Capricorn is going to highlight your resources. This is what is important to you, your earning power, your skill sets, and your self-esteem about those skill sets. Now, because this is in Capricorn, you're going to be taking a very practical, grounded look at what is working and what is not working. I encourage you to really celebrate what is working and then make practical choices about what needs to change. There could be a lot of different information coming at you from different sources. You just want to ground into the moment. And then you may find that new alliances that you have recently made or a partnership, someone that you work one-to-one with, it's going to give you a lot of insight about how you can pivot with whatever information or energy shifts that this full moon is bringing into your life. So look to those partnerships, those one-to-one connections. Now, adding to this week, we also have a lot of planets moving places. The first up, we have Mars moving into Gemini. And now when Mars moves into Gemini, this is going to really highlight your partnerships, your one-to-one connections, but also your network and your communication. You may notice a sudden rush of new partnerships or clients that you're working with, and you're able to see these from different points of view. This will be an inspired time to make new connections, but you also want to ensure that you do what you can to ensure that these connections are not short-lived, that they are long-lived. And that's going to be a little bit of a challenge because there's going to be so many of them. So really hone in on the ones that feel like they sit right with your soul, sit right with the path that you're going down. Now, we also have the sun moving into Leo. This is going to highlight new directions, something that has to do with learning, teaching, exploring, and your personal convictions. This is a great time to really tap into where am I now and where do I want to go? How can I get there in a very creative and original way? And how can I do that so that I feel like I'm sitting right with my soul, that my passions, my individuality are also well expressed on this new horizon that I am going toward? And then we have Mercury moving into Virgo. When Mercury moves into Virgo, this is going to highlight your career, your reputation, how you're known in the world. This is a great time to get organized here, to get a lot of details, to get clarity, and to communicate the little points so that that ensures that the larger points are well supported as well in your life. All right, with that being said, I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Capricorn. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Capricorn, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your rituals, two, something that has to do with individuality and partnerships, 
and three alliances. Now let's talk about why. Now, as we step into this week, you may notice that you are really focused or passionate about something that has to do with your home. You feel like I have a karmic path. This is where my heart is centered. I'm going to make these changes. And I encourage you to hold on to that momentum as we work through some of the bigger energies and changing energies that we have this week, because that will give you some insight on how you may want to pivot. Now, we do have a full moon in your sign this week. So this is going to illuminate every area of your life, your individuality, your partnerships, your homework, life balance, and every place in between. There's going to be a lot to celebrate here, Capricorn. Really dial into what is working, how those practical grounded decisions have led you to where you are. Now, full moons illuminate things that we are not fond of as well, but because they're illuminated, you now have the power to make some practical grounded solutions to really move you through whatever that obstacle is. Now, interestingly enough, I do think that if you dial into some of the big changes that you've been making in your habits and your rituals and your work life flow, and even more changes that are going to start to come in this week, that's going to help you make some decisions about what this full moon reveals for you. So really look for those solutions in the every day, and I think you'll find them. Now, adding to this week, we have a lot of moving planets. We have Mars moving into Gemini. This is going to highlight that workflow environment that we just spoke about, the habits, something that has to do with your overall health and wealth. You're going to find a lot of different opportunities, a lot of quick, fast action to get direct things done with this flow. Now, we also have the sun moving into Leo. This is going to highlight shared wealth, your investment, something that has to do with legacy and transformation. This is a great time to get very creative and passionate when it comes to these topics. Follow your soul, and I think you'll find a lot of great answers. Then we have Mercury moving into Virgo. This is going to give you the ability to look at that new horizon, but also your passions and your individuality and say, you know what? This is the where I want to go. This is what I need to do to get there. Get that detailed Virgo list, that clear point of view of what needs to happen in order to ensure this transition is smooth over, over the next coming weeks. All right, with that being said, I do hope you have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Aquarius. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Aquarius, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, your creative passions, and two, your partnerships, and three, shared wealth. Now, let's talk about why. Now, as we kick off this week, you may notice that you were really inspired about something that's happening locally. This could have to do with the way that you communicate or just people that you spend your time with day in and day out. It's going to feel very karmic on time and connected with your heart. And I encourage you to notice this because this is going to help you understand how to work with the upcoming energy of the week, where you could pivot, how you want to pivot, because we want to keep our eye on that karmic energy that we are following. Now, the building energy that we're working with is a full moon in Capricorn. Now, this full moon is going to highlight something behind the scenes. This could be a subconscious level, a spiritual level, or something that you're working on privately. And because it's a full moon, we're going to have something to celebrate here. We're going to say, you know what, all these practical, grounded, organizational things that I have done to ensure that this transformation, this ending and beginning is now revealing itself and way to go on these topics. And there are still some things that I need to work on. Now, there's going to be a lot of information, a lot of emotions, especially when it comes to that mind and body balance. You just want to take a step back and ask yourself, what do I have the power to change? What can I do in a practical, grounded way right now? And that'll help you make some of those decisions. But I also think that some of the big changes are the creative energy that you have had come into your life. This could be people, places, children, entrepreneurships, that really creative, original, heart-based energy. If you zone in on that, that's going to help you pivot and make some decisions about whatever's happening on that subconscious or mind-body balance that the full moon is revealing. Now, adding to this energy, we do have a lot of planets that are moving signs this week, and Mars will be moving into an area of your life that supports what you love without condition, people, places, and things, that creative energy, that entrepreneurship energy. And I think that this is going to give you a lot of momentum and drive to get out there and have a lot of fun and really express yourself at a soul-deep level. Now, we have the sun moving into Leo. This is also a very creative, powerful, loving energy, and it's moving into an area of your life that supports your partnerships, your one-to-one -one connections. But you'll also feel this in your homework, life balance, and your individuality. This is a great time to, again, just follow your heart, tap into your originality, and live by your personal fire. Then we have Mercury moving into Virgo. So this is going to highlight an area of your life that supports legacy, shared wealth, deep, intimate relationships. This is a great time to get really detailed and organized when it comes to shared wealth or investments that you have to get a clear count on where you are and where you want to go, the changes that you want to make as you move through all these personal transformations in your life. All right, with that being said, I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Pisces. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Pisces, your top three focuses are going to be one, your home life, two, your partnerships, and three, allies. Now, let's talk about why. Now, you are stepping into this week with a big eye on your values, your resources, and what's important to you. This could be Topics that feel karmically aligned, passionate, and fiery. I encourage you to dial into this energy because it's going to be one of the things that'll help you 
know how to pivot or what to lean into as we have bigger energies or shifting energies that come throughout the week. Now, one of the building energies that we're working with is a full moon in Capricorn. This is going to highlight your alliances, groups that you're a part of, that dream that you have. And it's going to flow into also the the one-to-one connections and your local environment. Now, this is going to be a grounded, practical energy that says, you know what? Everything that we have done has awarded us this. This is what we still need to do to move forward. There's going to be a lot of you know breakthrough energies or insights that come through. But dialing into what you have control of, where you want to pivot and how you want to pivot will help you make the most of this. But I also think if you look towards your foundations, your home, that root system of your life, maybe actually people at your home, all the expansive new ideas that you have there, all the powerful energy that's going to be moving into that area of your life this week. I think that that's going to help you make some decisions about what to do with whatever this full moon energy reveals in your life. So definitely look close to home, ground yourself in those roots, and you'll find some solutions. We also have a lot of moving energy this week. We have Mars moving into an area of your life that is close to your home or your actual home, that foundational level of your life. You're going to have a lot of motivation, drive, and energy to see a couple different sides of things, a lot of information coming in about how you can pivot or make some changes. We also have the sun moving into Leo. This is going to give you the opportunity to bring in a lot of creativity and fun and originality into your daily rituals, your habits, something that has to do with your overall health and wealth. And then we have Mercury moving into Virgo. This is going to highlight your one-to-one partnerships, but it's also going to flow into that communication sector, that daily ritual. This is how, I, this is how I'm known in the world and the network that I'm associated with. And this energy is going to give you the ability to really look at what is working and what you need to change, that precise okay, this is our to-do list. This is how we can move through this very clearly, which is always good when we have this much moving energy in one week. All right, with that being said, I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Aries. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Aries, your top three focuses are going to be one, your reputation, two, your passions, and three, your daily flow. Now, let's talk about why. Now, as we kick off this week, you can be really focused on your individuality, your self-expression. This is who I am and how I want to be known in the world. And that's thanks to Venus having a lot of conversations with the North Node in your sign. I definitely encourage you to dial into that energy because that's going to be important. It's going to help you make some decisions as you move through the building energy of this week. Now, the building energy of this week is the full moon. It's going to be happening in Capricorn. This is going to highlight the highest level of your solar chart. It has to do with your reputation, your authority, authority over others, your homework, life balance, partnerships, individuality, and every place in between. And because it's in Capricorn, You're really going to be thinking about grounded, practical solutions that you have made that have led you to where you are. You're going to see some things that you adore and you should celebrate, but you're also going to get maybe some news or some breakthrough, unexpected shifts that you did not anticipate. But because this is a full moon energy in Capricorn, because you can see it, now's a great time to make some organizational, practical decisions about how to change what you don't like. And you'll have some other energies that are going to support you and help you pivot through any kind of mental tug of war or physical tug of war that you may find yourself in, I do think you're going to find a lot of support in when it comes to your allies, that local environment that you're connected to, something in your daily flow. Not only is this where you've had a lot of expansion recently, we also have Mars moving into this area this week. And when Mars moves into this area, it's going to give you a lot of diversity in how you approach different things. It's going to give you different data points, different information that you can work with. And if you dial in on, this is what my day looks like, This is what I want my day to feel like. And these are the changes I need to make to ensure that that happens. That's going to help you balance out that full moon energy. Now, we also have the sun moving into Leo this week. So this is going to give you a lot of creative, fiery, passion, original energy when it comes to things that sit right with your soul. These are people, places, things, and entrepreneurships. This is a very creative time. And I encourage you to spend some time with things that really bring you joy because that's going to bring a lot of magnetism of good things into your life. We have Mercury moving into Virgo this week as well. So Mercury in Virgo is going to really help you organize those daily have-to chores. I have to do this. This is the work I have. These are the habits I have. These are the little things that lead to big things in my life, especially when it comes to my overall health and wealth. I love having this energy here for you because it's going to help you process any changes that you need to make to ensure that that daily flow, that ritual, this is how I feel in my mind and body is feeling very balanced and through the transition that you're going through right now. All right, with that being said, I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Taurus. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Taurus, your top three focuses are going to be one, new horizons, two, foundations, and three, passions. Now, let's talk about why. Now, you are stepping into this week with your eye on, okay, this needs to end and this needs to begin 
I definitely need to dial into these private matters because this feels karmically aligned. This is where my heart is telling me to go. Your ruling planet. Venus is saying, pay attention to those little things behind the scenes. And I encourage you to dial into whatever kind of comes up from that subconscious this week because that's going to help you make some pivotal decisions through some moving energy and some big building energy. Now, the big building energy that we have is the full moon in Capricorn. Now, the full moon in Capricorn is going to invite you to look at that new horizon, your personal convictions, what you learn, what you teach, what you want to explore. And because it's here in a Capricorn grounded sign, you may be thinking, you know what, everything I've done so far has led me here. You're looking at it in a very practical way. You want to celebrate what is working, but there's also going to be a lot of information kind of flooding in from other areas. Some of it a little bit unexpected can make you feel like you're in a bit of a tug of war. So with this energy, we're going to notice what isn't working with us. And when we notice what isn't working, what we need to do is just make a grounded practical plan about how to change that. And I do think you're going to have some support in doing that as you work through this week. One of the places that you can look for that support will come from your resources, your skill sets, your values, what's important to you and why. Because there could be a lot of noise out there this week. And what you want to ask yourself is, is this important to me? Is this a value to me? Is this a resource, something I want to defend, support, or build? If the answer is yes, lean into that. If the answer is no, then you want to focus on things that are important to you. In this same area is where we're going to have Mars moving this week. Mars is going to move into an area that supports your resources, the skill sets, and the self-esteem that you have about those skill sets. So there's going to be a lot of diversity, a lot of ways to look at things from different points of view. So if there's a no somewhere, there's probably three yeses somewhere else. So we don't want to get so focused on the no's or the roadblocks that we don't see the other ways to work around this energy. Now, we also have the sun moving into Leo this week. This is going to highlight your foundations, your roots, something close to your home. You may feel like you want to spend time with your family, young people, be creative, bring a lot of beauty and joy and laughter into that area of your life. And I do encourage you to do that because that is the root system. That's going to flow up into every corner, your home, work, life balance, your partnerships, your individuality, and every space in between. And then we have Mercury moving into Virgo. And when Mercury moves into Virgo, this is going to give you a lot of detail, clarity, and organization when it comes to things that you are passionate about. This could be an entrepreneurship. It's a great time to get organized and move forward with whatever passion that you have, something that you're trying to build. But also when it comes to relationships or things that speak to your soul, this is a good time to say, you know what, I'm going to prioritize this. I'm going to ensure that this is fun and that I enjoy it. Now with Mercury and Virgo here, you also want to ensure that you are not being overly critical of things that you love and that you're passionate about. You want to celebrate what is working and build to-do lists or structures or transformational paths around those things. We don't want to focus on the, on the little smudge or the thing that may not be just perfect. We, we want to focus on what is working. All right, with that being said, I hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Gemini. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Gemini, your top three focuses are going to be one, your independence, two, legacy, and three, foundations, your home life. Now, let's talk about why. Now, as we kick off this week, you may notice that you are really focused on your allies and social circles, how your heart feels about it. And you may feel like, okay, this is my karmic path. I don't know how, what's going to happen when I get there, but I know I need to reach out and make that connection. Now, I encourage you to hold on to that ambition as you work through this week, because there's going to be some building energy and some shifting energy, but really feeling aligned with your heart and your karmic path will be a great foothold to start off with. Now, that building energy that we're working with is a full moon in Capricorn, and this is going to highlight something behind the scenes. It's really connected to shared wealth, legacy, your roots, and what needs to end and what needs to begin. And because it's in Capricorn, you're going to be looking at some grounded practical ideas about the systems and structures that you have in place. The full moons bring something to celebrate. I encourage you to celebrate what is working. But there's also a lot of other energy moving around this week, some of it unexpected or breakthrough or shifting. It could take you off guard and it could allow you to see something that maybe you didn't know was there, despite all the practical choices that you have made. Now, when this occurs, we want to say, okay, well, there it is. This is a practical choice that I can make to fix what I don't like over the coming weeks. So we really want to focus on what is working. I can't emphasize that enough. Now, I do think that if you Lean into your individuality. This is who I am. Everything that you have done to express yourself, your brand, and flow into your creativity and the new direction that you're trying to go into. If you focus on those choices that you've already made and those ones that you feel coming in this week, that's going to give you another foothold or another point to help you make decisions about whatever this full moon reveals. Now, Mars is moving into your sign this week. That's going to give you a lot of powerful energy and drive. You may find that you're doing things more than one are that you have a lot of different opportunities that you're working with at the same time. I encourage you to lean into the ones that really matter, the ones that really support you, not only in the short term and the long term, because that's going to help you make the most of this momentum. We have the sun moving into Leo. 
This is going to highlight how you speak, how you communicate, your local environment. You may find that you're ready to have a lot of joy, playful energy, creative energy when it comes into your daily rhythms, more so than normal. And I encourage you to do that because the more creative you are, the more magnetic you're going to be. You're going to be able to attract people that are on the same wavelength that you're on. We also have Mercury moving into Virgo this week. So when it comes to getting organized close to home, getting clear on communication and processes and how we can all work together to ensure that our foundations are right at home and how everyone in your home base can work together to ensure that your foundations are strong and supported through all the transformations that you and everyone that you share a dwelling with feel is going to be something that Mercury and Virgo can help support. So this is a great time to tap into your ruling planet and the energy that is flowing through Virgo. All right, with that being said, I do hope you have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi, Cancer. Let's take a look at your week. Now, Cancer, your top three focuses this week are going to be one, partnerships, two, values, and three, local vibes. Now, let's talk about why. Now, you are stepping into this week with your eye on your career, your reputation. You're thinking, you know what? This is the karmic path that I'm meant to follow. I don't know what's going to happen once I do that, but my heart is telling me to go in this direction. And I encourage you to hold on to that. That's a great foothold to work with as we work with some of the more moving energy or expanding energy throughout the week. But saying, okay, this is my karmic path. This is where my heart is. That's a good starting point. Now, the building energy that we have this week is a full moon in Capricorn. And this is going to really amplify your partnerships, your one-to-one connections. And because it's here, you're going to feel it flood into every corner of your life. Definitely when it comes to my partnerships and my individuality, my homework, life balance, but also my social networks how I communicate in almost every place in between. Now, a full moon in Capricorn is going to show you the practicality, what's working, the systems and the structures. Let's celebrate this. Now, at the same time, because it's a full moon, it could illuminate some things that maybe we weren't expecting to see. There could be some unexpected communication, some breakthroughs or some insights. But with this energy, we just want to take a grounded, practical look and say, you know, what is important to me and why is it important to me? And I do think that if you lean into some of the work that you've already been doing when it comes to endings and beginnings, what needs to transpire so you feel more supported, you're going to find the answers that you're looking for to balance out this tug of war that this full moon can inspire. Now, at the same time, we do have some moving energies this week. Mars is going to move into that area of your life that does support endings and beginnings, something on the subconscious or spiritual or very private area of your life. You're going to see a lot of different vantage points. You're going to have the courage to face conversations that maybe have been a little bit challenging. And be in the space to listen as much as you speak is something I would encourage you to do. Now, we also have the sun moving into Leo. This is going to highlight what's important to you, your values, your resources. You're going to have a lot of fun, creative ideas, original ideas about how you can support this area of your life. As the sun transits this area of your life, really think about your overall health and wealth. And then we have Mercury moving into Virgo. This is going to give you a lot of energy when it comes to your daily environment, getting super organized when it comes to your flow, your ritual, how you communicate, how you work with partners, how you work with networks, getting the details down, understanding what is working, what is not working, and get a new system or a new to-do list in place. That's going to be in your favor in the coming weeks, which is beneficial considering all the transitions that are occurring in this one week alone. All right, with that being said, I do hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I do hope you found some tips and insights. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you can find this podcast in the future. You can also connect with me at schedulingfate.com. I look forward to seeing you there and next time.